guys, I'm here with a fresh new video today. I was approached to compare two 3S batteries with equal specifications. Today we'll be looking at the Tindling 5200 milliamp hour battery. It's rated at 50C with an Avonic 5200 milliamp battery that's also rated at 50C. For my efforts, I will be reimbursed the cost of the Tindling battery, but I already own the Avonic. I actually bought it for my remote control airplane, which I crashed uh, last summer. So that one's on me. But I assure you that uh, there'll be no shenanigans in my uh, testing. All the results you see are what I actually got. And uh, I agreed to do this video because I've had good luck with Avonic batteries in the past. And I thought it would be fun to test another battery of a different brand and uh, see how they stack up. Uh, you know, Avonic's a good budget brand and Tindling, you know, while I've never heard of it before, uh, the construction looks very similar to the Avonic and, uh, you know, I was really curious to see how they, they would fare. So you can see both batteries are hard cases. They have very similar construction. Um, they weigh within a tenth of a gram of each other. And the only real difference I could see externally is the Avonic has, um, you know, the shrink tubing here that's the same color as the positive and negative leads, whereas the Tindling has more of a uh, clear, um, you know, reinforcement there. But very similar looking batteries. They uh, fit in the Traxxas Bandit nicely after I modified the battery box. Originally, they were too tall. But I'll, I'll put a video link in the uh, description as how you can modify the Traxxas Bandit to fit these batteries. But as you can see, they're, they're pretty beefy. They're pretty tall compared to a normal um, you know, lower capacity 3S or a 2S battery. For comparison, here's a terrible battery that I tested in my last video. There's a 2S battery test that you may want to check out as well. But this Iwafi battery, terrible voltage sag. I've had very poor experience with it, but you can see the size difference here. Now, granted, this is a shorty 2S, only 5,200 milliamp hour, but just putting this here for comparison purposes. All right, let's go ahead and dive right into the data. So first we have the Avonic 3S 5,200 milliamp hour battery. And as you can see, this battery exceeded its claim capacity. It held about 5,300 milliamp hours. Now I have time-lapse videos of both batteries being charged. So you can see I'm charged from 10.2 volts, which is 3.4 volts per cell, up to fully charged, which is 12.6 volts or 4.2 volts per cell. I'll uh, put a link to those time-lapse videos in the description of the video. But at any rate, the Avonic had most of its charge capacity down in the lower end of the charge. So uh, 3,600 milliamp hours were available below storage voltage. Storage voltage was 11.47 volts. And only about 1,700 milliamp hours was available above that. So while it doesn't matter really if you're bashing, if you're looking for absolute uh, maximum speeds doing speed runs and such, it's best to have that uh, most of the capacity in the higher end of the, the charge so that the voltage is higher, uh, thus giving you more speed. But I assure you this Avonic battery just absolutely rips in the Bandit. And uh, I have some videos I just did where it was doing wheelies and I will link to the speed test runs I did as well. Uh, in the Bandit, completely stock tracks this Bandit, the Avonic did 52 miles an hour. And uh, that was actually four miles an hour faster than a smaller 3S battery I tested uh, a few weeks ago. The Avonic battery uh, has only been charged about 10 times. has not been used a whole lot. It's less than a year old. The internal resistance was six milliohms in each cell. And that's virtually identical to the uh, Tindling battery. Now I paid $22 for this battery. I got it on sale, but the current price is $29. Although I did see that it's been as low as $25 over the past 120 days. Again, the weight of both batteries was virtually identical. And 
you know, I've been extremely happy with this battery. It provides, to me, what's almost comically long run times because I'm used to back in the day using nickel cadmium batteries that you might get, you know, two or three minutes of good run time, good being like 20 miles an hour. But, uh, and then they, you know, would fall on their face pretty quickly. But these newer LiPo's are just, just amazing. Now the Tindling, it did have a little bit more capacity up on that top half of the, um, the charge. So it had 2,025 versus the 1,700 in the Avonic. Um, so that's 38% of the total charges in uh, above storage voltage. Its total capacity was slightly lower. It was um, 5,275 milliamp hours versus 5,300. Oh, that's really negligible. And some of that difference could be contributed to the fact this was the first time I charged the battery. It's not broken in. However, I'll post a link in the video description of a really good uh, test that someone did breaking in batteries and seeing what difference it made, if any. And the findings in the video were really it's negligible. It makes very little difference. He did find small improvements in some categories, but again, for what we're looking at here, having fun, bashing, the types of uses that these batteries are most likely, um, you know, people are buying these batteries for, it's really not, um, you know, gonna make a difference. Now, the Tindling battery was $34, so it is a little more expensive, and apparently I can't spell the word reimbursement, or I didn't finish writing it. But um, again, I'm gonna be reimbursed for the uh, Tindling battery. So it is more expensive. Uh, perhaps you could find it on sale. Using the Honey app, I was able to see it was as low as $31 over the past 120 days. So there is a little bit of a price premium, but it did perform slightly better. Uh, top speed was 52 miles an hour again. The actual speed difference that you can see in the speed run video was like two tenths of a mile an hour, but again, it was negligible. And uh, all I have to say about this Tindling battery is that I was pleasantly surprised. It's a solid performer and uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy to have it and I'm gonna continue to use this battery moving forward. So again, I would recommend both of these batteries. They're quite good for the price point, great batteries for bashing and having fun. Hopefully you found this content helpful. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. Please give me a thumbs up and uh, please check out the battery testing video I did before with the 2S batteries. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I respond to all the questions I receive and um, check out the time-lapse video that I did for the charging and the speed runs that I did comparing the two batteries. And um, that's all I have for now.